Hello everyone, my name is Brennan Raymond. Um, well, <laughs> I didn't expect quite that response. Um, for, for those who this is the first one that they're saying, I, I recently did a video um, on loneliness and Asperger's, which got quite a decent response actually, um, and more, more than I, I was anticipating for something that I did kind of before I went to bed at some very late hour of the night or early hour of the morning for all I know um, and was meandering over all, all over the place and yeah um, but I got some you know some great responses from that and I've been getting a lot more people looking at it than have been looking at most of my videos and, and things and I'm like okay okay obviously people are, are interested in this sort of thing um, and I think it probably says some, there's something to be said about um, you know people wanting a bit of that raw honesty I guess because you don't see a lot of it in the world these days um, you see a lot of a lot of masks and a lot of half truths and a lot of um, hiding and, and a lot of dancing around the truth um, even here in Australia where we're kind of renowned for saying a spade is a spade though I'm kind of very anti <laughs> very very different to that I tend to beat around the bush as much as I can um, <laughs> uh, before I get get to actually talking about what I'm supposed to be talking about um, yeah, so I thought I might elaborate on a couple of, of, of the points that I kind of brushed over, I guess, to further this discussion, I guess, around around some of this stuff. Um, one of the things that I mentioned is that um, loneliness kind of perpetuated a lot of difficulties for me and caused a lot of the things that, that I struggle with today and have struggled with over the years. And I want to talk about um, two of those, which I've generally kept very close to my chest and haven't talked about um, to many people at all. Um, I've, I've started talking about it with people a bit more recently, but it's, it's still something that I haven't been very open about or I've, I've, I've kept fairly quiet um, but I want, I want to talk about it because I think it's it's important and I think it's something that a lot of other people struggle with um, so so the thing with, with loneliness is that you know it's it's a hurt it's a pain that you feel inside of you and so because of that you know, I, I sought to find things to alleviate that pain. Um, and, and there are good ways of doing that and there are bad ways of doing that. Um, you know, and I tended to find the bad ways of doing that. Um, that doesn't mean that there wasn't good ways that, that, I, that I had as well. I mean, I had my... I had my family around me and I had my friends around me, but um, oh, someone's talking to me. Lovely. Um, and but you know, ultimately, you know, the idea is that that you're going to God with, with this and that. You know, the, the idea is that you, you're never alone because God's always with you. Um, and and I guess the struggle was, you know, that's something that I always knew up here, but, but the trick is then accepting that and, and living that out. Um, and I guess that was something that I always struggled with. Um, and, and so I turned to other things to help to ease the hurt of loneliness. Um, and so there were two things in particular. One of those was pursuing relationships, um, which funnily enough never worked out because I was caught up so much in the pursuit and and it became 
it, it was from the wrong place. It was with the wrong attitude, with from the wrong headspace, the wrong heart space. And that, that didn't mean that what I felt wasn't real or that emotions weren't there. No, that, that was still, you know, real for me. But I, I was doing it from the wrong place, which meant that things didn't work out, um, amongst other things, but long stories. Um, but that was one one place that I tended to go back to a few times and and that just kind of kept spiralling down for me because you know each time it would work out I'd get more lonely and so I try again and get more lonely. Um, the other place that I went to was porn um, and it was very much a sort of quick fix if you like you know um, you know, I, I never went to like alcohol or drugs or anything like that. Um, but I went to porn, and and I very much knew when I was going into it exactly how it would affect me. Well, not exactly, but I knew that it was not good going into it. Um, you know, I knew that, and I knew about the whole objectification thing and. And, and all that sort of stuff, and I still went into it, and I got addicted pretty bad, um, because it helped to ease that hurt, and it was it was very momentary and very fleeting, and all that sort of thing. But in that moment, uh, you know, I would just get lost in it, and everything else just wouldn't matter, and. And you could forget the, the pain and all that sort of thing. And that was something that I, I struggled with for, for and still struggle with. Um, and, and it's, yeah, it's, it wasn't good, <laughs> um, to put it simply. Um, you know, it, uh, it's, 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 porn is not a very not good thing. Um, and it was something that got me addicted in a very bad way. Um, and fantasy as well, similarly. I mean, you know, why do you need a computer with pictures when you've got, you know, your own imagination sort of thing? Um, and my imagination is, you know, kind of ridiculously overactive and, yeah, which doesn't help. And, you know, one of the things that I often say I don't know if I'll say that, but you know, with with alcohol, with smoking, with gambling, you, with drugs, you can lock someone in a room away from those things, but you can't do that with with fantasy because you've got your imagination. You can't lock yourself away from your own mind, which makes it rather difficult. <laughs> um, I mean, I can lock myself away from my computer, or I can turn the internet off, and all that sort of thing. Um, but I've still got my head that I've got to deal with. Um, so yeah, those are those are two things in particular that that loneliness has very much caused struggles for me in um, in, in in big ways and, and things that I'm I'm still working out <laughs> and and still trying to. You know, get, in, get into a healthy space in terms of where my head's at and where my heart's at. Um, and, you know, instead of turning to these things that will only satisfy for a short time, you know, going going back to God and remembering that He is always with me. Um, and that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. Um, you know, but, um, yeah. You know that's 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 what I try to do, um, and often I don't get anywhere, and often I fail, and often I make mistakes, and often I fall down. But <sighs> he's very patient, a lot more patient than I am, <laughs> um, 
and he's very forgiving and gracious, which is rather awesome. Um, but yeah, if these, if if you know, if if this is something that you also struggle with, again, I'd love to have a conversation with you. I'd I'd love to, you know, you know, you know, you're not alone in this, and this isn't just just something that you're struggling with this is a struggle that many people share that that many people have and it's not a struggle that you have to bear by yourself it's not a burden that you have to bear by yourself because you're not alone in this and i want you to know that because that's really really important okay you're not alone okay 